Hey guys and welcome to Slasher X Games. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can change your game resolution to pretty much anything that the user wants. Now the code I'm going to be showing you is going to be very useful if you are developing for mobile devices. Now even though in this demo I'm going to be telling the application what resolution I want, I'll also be showing you two lines of code that you can use to grab the resolution from the actual device. So this is the end product of our demo. We have resolutions ranging from full HD all the way down to 800 by 480 which is a very low res screen resolution for mobile devices and I can pretty much click around and it resizes our game window but also keeps the aspect ratio so you'll notice for a 16 by 9 resolution which is the resolution I developed the game for so that is the full HD or 1280 by 720 here as two examples things are great there's no letterboxing or otherwise black bars but when we click to a resolution that isn't the same aspect so we're looking at our 800 by 480 and our 1024 by 768 notice it creates the letterbox to retain our aspect ratio and there we've got a little one over there so let's jump straight into the code and I can show you exactly what you need to do to implement this into your game so to start things off I've put some things together just to speed this up we have a font we have the buttons which are just one sprite with various sub images We've got our player, which pretty much does nothing except looks at the mouse, just so that we got some movement. Our controller, which creates a number of buttons for us to click on. And one game room, which just says our player and the controller. Okay. So, currently, object button resolution does nothing other than stop it from cycling through those images. So I'm going to want to add an event. Left pressed. Drag in some code here. And I'm going to create two temporary variables. And to get the values of these variables, it's going to be depending on which button the user clicked. So each button image here is represented by a sub-image. So full HD is going to be 0, 16 by 9 is going to be 1, and so on. 800 by 480 is going to be the last one, which is 6. So I can do a switch statement on the image index of this object. We have cases ranging from 0 all the way up to 6. Okay, so we need to update the value of width and height. 0 is 1920 by 1080. 1 was 16 by 9. Next, we've got 1400 by 1050. Then 1366 by 768. 1280 by 720. 1024 by 768. And lastly, 800 by 480. Cool. So as you can see, we've got some 16 by 9 resolutions. We've got a 4 by 3 resolution over there. And we've got a smartphone resolution, which is nearly 16 by 9, but not exactly. Cool. So if this is your game, um, once the player selects a resolution, we want to save this to a file. Maybe this is in your options room, so that when he returns to his game, it knows exactly what resolution he was viewing it in last time. So we want to retain that value. So let's do an any open. And let's open something called uh, game settings. Let's put an underscore there. Game settings dot ini. Let's do an any write real. Um, settings. This is going to be our width. And the value is going to be width. And let me just copy that line. Put it down here. Change that to height. Value is going to be height. And obviously, any close. Close that up. So now that we've stored those variables, let us take them and place them in some globals so we can access them without having to 
open up this any file every time. So we've got our global width and our global height. Fantastic. Now that we've got these globals, I'm going to create a script called SCR resolution. And what this script is going to do is it's going to take the base width and our base height, which is pretty much going to be the resolution that we are developing our game for. It's going to be taking the global width and the global height, and it's going to be using those to determine an aspect ratio. And once it's got all those calculations sorted, we're going to be scaling our GUI, we're going to be scaling our application surface, and making sure everything retains the aspect ratio. And it looks really cool. So let's create this script. There it is. So firstly, set the resolution. We want to display or alternatively, how about we get this value from the device? So that last part, that's to do with mobile devices. You don't know what resolution the user has on his smartphone. You still want the game to retain the aspect ratio and adjust its resolution to fit. So here I've got a number of variables. One being display width, the other being display height. And right now they're just set to the globals. If you want to get these variables depending on the resolution the current user's smartphone is running, I want you to use the following functions. Display, get, width, and you're using display get height. Alright? So those are the lines of code you're going to be putting here instead of our globals because for smartphones the user is not going to be able to select what resolution he wants to run on. It's going to run at the resolution the smartphone is currently running. Next up, let's uh, set the size of our GUI. Now I haven't actually showed you this but in my controller I have a draw GUI event. It sets a color sets a font and it's going to be writing our display width so I can uncomment that times the display height so that's our resolution it's also going to be showing us the aspect ratio which is just the width divided by the height okay now one thing that I found out when I was developing element earth is that without resizing the GUI if I had a GUI event this this piece of code that I'm drawing to the screen would remain at the same size irrespective of what the resolution of the device was. So unfortunately it meant that on a PC at 128 by 720 everything would look fine because that was the resolution I was developing for but when it was put on an older model smartphone which it was still compatible with and that resolution was a whopping 800 by 480 we had this humongous line of text being displayed to the screen but all the player instances and all the action in the game was really small so that's exactly what this line of code is going to be doing it's going to be resizing the GUI to fit the surface layer display set GUI and that's a small Y there uh, size okay and let's put in our display width and our display height. I'm going to comment that out later and we're going to see the changes. Exactly what I mean about that. Next, set the um, size of the game window. Window set size. Also those two. Then we're going to set the resolution. We've programmed the game for. This is going to be known as your base width and height or your dev width and height. It doesn't matter as long as you've got this value stored somewhere. For Let's call it our, our base width and our base height. In my case it was 1280 by 720. Which also happens to be the dimensions of the room or the view. We need to determine the aspect ratio. So var aspect equals base width divided by the base height. Then work out the adjusted height and width. 
So the following lines of code is going to be taking all this information and it's going to be determining where and how much of a letterbox we need to add to retain that aspect. So if the display width is greater than or equal to the display height, so that's more of a, a landscape orientation. Now we're going to create two temporary variables. One's going to be called height. The other one's going to be called width, which we haven't used yet. Yeah, that's fine. And the height is going to be the min of the base height and the display height. And the width is simply going to be our height times it by our aspect. And just like that. Now, we need to resize the application surface to our adjusted values. And that's going to use surface resize. Oops. And that's going to take our, which service do we want to resize? Well, our application service. That's pretty much where everything's being drawn to. And our new values, which is our width and our height. Just like that. So, uh, it takes quite a bit of uh, a bit of this and that to work things out. And that just goes down to a simple little one-liner. But let me run through this one more time with you. We're getting our display width and height. In our case, it was selected by the user and those values were stored in these globals, global display width and global display height. If you're developing for mobile devices, use display get width and display get height. So if your phone is currently running at uh, 1280 by 720, that's what these values are going to be. If it's running an older, if you're running an older smartphone, maybe its maximum resolution is 800 by 480, you can still make your game look pretty cool on that older device and it will grab the 800 by 480 and shove them straight into our display width and our display height quite nicely. Then we are setting up the size of our GUI using those two values. We are setting up the size of the game window. We are grabbing our base width or our dev width and dev height. That's pretty much the resolution we've programmed the game for. So if you created your sprites for a 720p experience, that's what I've got here. If you created your sprites for a full HD experience, you're going to be putting in your full HD width and height right over here, just so that things are scaled properly. Then we're going to determine our aspect ratio using the base width and base height. So that's the aspect ratio that we developed for. We're going to work out the adjusted height and width based on those values. And once we have a final height and a final width, we are going to be resizing our application surface. So that's pretty straightforward stuff. Now that we've got all that sorted, I actually also want to jump into room options in our create code here. And I actually want to open up that any file we saved to earlier. I want to set our global display width and global display height to the values we stored in that any file. And then run script resolution on that. So the any file, let's see, what was it called? Save all those. Here we go. Let's put this on the side. That's what it was called. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my code. There it is. Grab that. Any read real. And the default is going to be 128 over 720, which is going to be my dev height and width. I suggest you make those your defaults. Okay. Before doing that, I noticed we have to change this to height. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. All right, so everything's started up. Let's click some of these and see what happens. Okay, so nothing's happening. Maybe we have some variables that are called the same things. Maybe we're not setting or saving things right. Let's head back into our click code in this button. Oh, uh, I think I see the problem. Our resolution is grabbing 
the global display width and global display height, but these ones are called global dot width and global dot height. Let's update those. Save everything. Make sure options create code, display width, display height. It's all good. And let's start this up again. All right, let's start clicking around. There we go, things are resizing. We see the letterbox on aspects that aren't the same as 16 by 9. So there we've got a 1.78 aspect. We shouldn't really create letterbox effects. And there's the small 800 by 480. And notice this whole time, the GUI layer is being updated and scaled correctly. So let's go into script resolution and comment out line 6 over there. So let's see what happens when that GUI layer isn't touched. Okay, so let's go to 16 by 9. There's that size. Let's go to 800 by 480. Same size. See that? The space between this information and our player is quite large. When we go to a smaller resolution, it's very small. Now, this is a problem if you are creating buttons and stuff that rely on the coordinates of that GUI instance. So I do highly recommend that you use the display set GUI size function for that. So that about wraps up changing your resolution for windowed games as well as a small touch on scaling for mobile devices. I hope you found this tutorial both educational and helpful. Please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, place them in the comments or send me a PM. If you like this video as well as many of my other videos, please check out my Patreon campaign. I do appreciate your support. If you'd like to play a really cool Android game, check out Element Earth on the Amazon App Store and Google Play. That game demonstrates scaling code that I've just showed you today. So until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.